Good afternoon, this is Anna It Courses at Trimble. I am mixed reality and scan specialist for the east side. So I'm gonna show you today how to do a simplified scan twin workflow importing this point cloud into Revit as many of our customers will need. Even if the X7 does a registration on field, um, it will have some difference. So if you will go to scan and export, you will have listed all the type files that we can receive. As you can see, we do have recap structure and recap non-structure. That will mean gridded and non-gridded. So as it's already been registered, it doesn't matter, but it does have some differences. So if you do a huge file, it will be better if you do a recap non-structure. It will ask you to create a section box in order to do that exportation. So you can just uh, turn your section view on and off. As soon as you have it activated, it will let you export that it will be a lighter file and it will be faster and if you do have a tiny file you can do the structure file the main differences will be that inside Revit if you do the structure file you will have these scan stations listed by number and you can turn them on and off and if you do the non-structure as it has been already registered, um, you will have that information, but they will be listed as an object. Okay, so you can do both. Uh, I have done this previously, so I will show you that. You go to your document, and you go to your filling folder you will have all your projects listed so just go to the name that of your job and you will see an export uh, file folder and we will see here that i have both of the files the gridded and the non-gridded i do have my recap file and i do have my recap uh, my rcs um, background file so as you can see i do have my scan stations listed here and if i do go to the non-structure i will have the same information but they are listed as an object okay inside revit there are two ways of exploring importing this point cloud so you can just go to insert point cloud and bring your recap file or you can also uh, use manage manage links point clouds and you can add that file okay so if i do the one uh, with the stations listed, I can select by share coordinates that, that will bring my point cloud in the same coordinate system as my model. If you do have uh, that geo referenced, if not, uh, try to bring that center to center so it will appear uh, in the center of your file. As you can see, uh, these are the annotations that will show me the elevations on my um, file. So if I just double click on those, it will allow me to see my uh, elevations. If I do need to change the level of my point cloud, I can just move that point cloud and bring that, uh, for example, to my level one, because it has been um, 
place in the basement, right? But you can play with those and you can generate a new level as well in order to visualize different heights on your point cloud. Um, and we can also generate some section box and change the views. So I'm going to show you that. But first of all, we will going to type UBG and it will open the visibility graphic option. This menu has all the Revit categories where you can turn the objects uh, on and off. So it's like the layers that you will have in DWG. And we do have the point clouds as well. So as you can see, I do have these kind of locations here and I can turn them on and off. Um, I can also change uh, the color of this station. So for example, if I do need to see one specific station in a specific color, I can do that as well. Okay. So in red, I do have all the points that have been bring with the station number five. Okay. So in order to use this data, you will need to use the 3D view. So if you go to the view tab and select the house, we will have this 3D view. I do have a section box activated, uh, so you can turn that off. If you do not have the menu, um, it will be on the user interface. Just select properties and it will show you uh, this menu and you can find section box here. Okay. And that's my whole point cloud as it is. And if I do need to visualize something in particular, I can turn that on and play with this section box as if I were using a fill link. Okay. So if you wanna cut the ha the ceiling, uh, you can do that to show better your model. Um, and we can also pre-generate um, sections. So if you select view section, uh, it will let you draw a section, just select two points and you can turn uh, this section side that you will gonna be, that it will gonna be displayed and you can establish as well and the meters of visualization that you're gonna have in that section. Once that you have drawn that, just double click on that and it will show you that specific portion uh, of your section, okay? This is going to be pretty useful uh, when we're doing uh, the model. So if we're going to draw some changes, this will be the ideal workflow. So let's pretend that we're going to change and the boiler so we can use that section box or we can use uh, another section So I can see my boiler here and I can see of course that I do have um, different pipes that could interfere with my change in the pipes uh, so I can take measurements as well it could be um, oh, anything you want but you can uh, have that a specific measurement. Uh, it's in blue, so it's kind of difficult to visualize right now. But I do have my measurements over there. If not, I can draw some guidelines 
or I can uh, draw another lever or copy the level as well. Okay. So I have preloaded a uh, Revit uh, family here, and this is a generic boiler that we have a heater, and you can change, of course, this um, to the one that you want. And you can just draw some piping, so um, you can just draw uh, that specific uh, portion uh, according to the new installation that you want to have in order to connect that to the pipes that you have already. Okay. So while I'm drawing, I can just change from the views to see that I am not hitting anything to be sure that um, that will gonna fit, that I can connect that piping to the, my existing piping so I can place uh, different uh, views for example and I can just uh, tile those in order to visualize that I'm not hitting anything from any view, right? And because sometimes it's difficult to detect a flash with uh, this type of views. If you do have a point, point cloud translator as triple cloud engine, of course this is going to be so much easier and faster because you can just translate those uh, pipes into a generic model and then you can proceed with that instead of me drawing uh, using the points but it is a very simple work for the modelers and it's very easy to use so if you do have any doubts just ping me and I will gladly join in a call with you guys if you need to show something similar to this as well please ping me have a great day and happy Friday.